Hey, I am finished. Baby, what is the problem? Are you finished? My life is gone. Where do I start from? Baby, please talk to me. You are getting me scared. Did someone dump you? It would have been better if someone duped me. But it is worse than that. Tell me please, you are getting me scared. My warehouse got fire, including the one I just built. What? How? Don't know. It burnt everything to ashes. I wish it burnt just one. Oh my god, this is the worst news ever. How is it even possible for two warehouses to catch fire at once? <sighs> I don't know. The worst has happened to me. I am doomed. No, please don't say that, my love. You are not doomed. You still have me. How can this life be so wicked to me? I decided not to steal but invested in something profitable. Now look at where it has landed me. <laughs> Do you want me to cry with you? It hurts me to see you this way. Please don't cry. We will find a solution to this. Where do I even start from? I have just a hundred thousand naira in my account. That was why I said you shouldn't have used all your money to open that new warehouse. You should have remained a little money in the case of emergency like this. How was I supposed to know something like this will happen? Hmm. It's okay. Calm down first and we will find a way out. I feel so weak. I just want to die. God forbid. You will not die. I'm here for you. I love you and I will not leave you in this your trying period. Good evening, Everson. Good evening, Felicia. What do you want? Why are you attacking me this way? I'm just surprised to see you in this neighborhood, that's all. Okay, you are fine being surprised. Can you leave my way? Calm down. Why haven't you been picking my calls? Oh, I almost forgot what I wanted to say. Felicia or whatever your name is, don't ever call my line again. Why not? We are still engaged, remember? God forbid, Barton. You and we is engaged. Never you say such from your mouth again. Why are you doing this to me, Everson? Is it a crime to love you? Chai, I don't know why I'm not always lucky when it comes to women. Is this behavior because of your friend told you? Yes, of course. And the fact that you are jobless. I told you I had submitted my application later to so many places. They have not yet called me. I believe they will soon. Madam, get out of my way. Talking to you is just a waste of time. Everson, please don't do this to me. Just tell me whatever you want me to do and I will do it. You mean you will do anything? Yes, I will do anything to make you happy. I'm just coming back from my fiancé's house now. She's very angry with me and she wants to marry another man. Fiancé? I thought you said you don't have time for a woman. Now you know, I have a fiancé. Hmm, what do you want me to do? I want you to go and talk to her, convince her that I love her and I want her back. So about me? Just do as I say, then I will consider my relationship with you. Hmm, okay. I will do anything for you. Our house is just two blocks away. Follow me, let me show you how the compound looks like. So you can come here tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Be for now. now. I've been calling you but you've not been picking your calls. I'm sorry dear. I was not in the mood to talk to anyone. Why? You look pale. Are you sick? Don't worry about me. I am fine. Your wedding preparation, how is it going? Don't change the topic, Risa. You don't look happy. What is it? Emma gave me the worst news of his life today. I knew it. Bed of the same feather flocks together. He is an ingrate. I didn't expect Emma to join in the ungrateful men gang. How could he? Hey, calm down. This has nothing to do with my relationship with him. Oh, uh, sorry for my outbursts. I am just scared he might end up doing the same thing Emerson did. Emma is never like that. He is the most caring man ever. Emerson was like that when we met. Speaking of which, Emerson came here earlier today. How dare he step his foot into this house? The same question I asked him when he came. What did he come for? What else? Other than to beg. He came begging me to take him back. Are you serious? What did you say to him? What else will I say? I ordered him out of my house. Good. Now that he has seen that you are happy, he wants to jump in and cause havoc again. Don't mind him. So back to you. What is your problem? Hmm. My dear sister, he marked two warehouses were burnt down earlier today. Oh my god. How come? 
Is a gas station close by? I've been to the old one before, and there was no gas station. Chai, this news that I'm hearing now is a whole lot of bad news. As in, it, the thing shocked me, oh. And even the new one is burnt as well. I think someone is behind it. He should investigate very well. He has already involved the police in it. Chai, so how is he now? I hope he felt better when you left. My dear, that kind of news, I am not sure he will feel better in the next two years. So what about your wedding? I don't even want to talk about that one. Hmm, okay. Hi, good evening. Hi, how can I help you? Is this number 35? And does Joseph live here? So, when you walked in here, you didn't see the house number written boldly on the gate. I just want to be sure of where I am. How can I help you? And how do you know my husband? I heard you mention his name. How I know him is none of your business. Kindly go in and tell him I'm here. Can you imagine the audacity? Do you know where you are? I don't want to make the introduction. I want Joseph to do it himself. Since you don't know how to talk to someone, kindly take your leave. Because my husband is sleeping and I don't want to wake him. <laughs> your husband, huh? I guess he has not told you yet. Get out of my house. Monica, how dare you disrespect my visitor like that? Good evening, baby. Welcome, my love. Why didn't you tell me to come pick you up? I didn't want you to stress yourself. Wait, did I hear correctly? Did she just call you baby? Babe, I thought you promised to tell her before I get here. I'm sorry, honey. I wanted you to get here first. Can someone tell me what exactly is going on here? Monica, meet my new wife, Martha. Martha, meet Monica, my first wife. What? It is nice to finally meet you. I must confess, our husband is an amazing man. Oh no, don't flatter me. You know I love you. Now keep on being amazing for you. I know, right? I am really tired. Our wedding took the most out of me. Don't worry, dear. You have all the rest you need. Thank you, my love. I hope you are resting with me too. Of course. I will not leave your side. After all, you are my wife. Okay, dear. Please show me to my room. Follow me. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are you and how can I help you? Please, are you queen? I am queen. Is there a problem? At least offer me a seat so we can talk. The seat is right behind you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. You are such a beautiful place here. Thank you. And you look beautiful too. I didn't expect to come to such a beautiful lady. Thank you. So now you can tell me why you're here. I'm here on behalf of your fiance. What about my fiance? And how do you know him? He sent me here to beg you, although I don't really know what the problem is, but I think you should forgive him. What are you saying? My fiancé and I are in good terms. In fact, I met him not quite long ago. I know you are just trying to be a girl, but know he loves you and he wants you back. Excuse me, I think you are mistaken. Wait, what is the name of my fiancé? Epherson. I thought as much. Emerson is the only one that will try this shit. Bill is too matured for this. You are engaged to two men? Young lady, Emerson is not my fiancé. And it is time for you to leave my house. I'm not here to cause any troubles. Epperson is my friend, so I promised I would do this for him. Then go back and tell him you did not work out. Please forgive him for whatever he did to you. I know he watched you, but forgive him. I forgave him a long time ago, but we are no longer together. In fact, my wedding is in a few weeks' time. So you are sure you don't need him at all? What kind of nonsense is this? You're beginning to get on my nerves. I just want to confirm so don't, you don't come back and beg when you later hear he has moved on. Madam, leave my house. You can have a mask to yourself. Okay, oh. I won't persuade you again. I will just go and tell him exactly what you said. Better. Have a nice day. Joseph, what was the meaning of what you did out there? Excuse me, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I am talking about. You mean the arrival of my new wife? 
Are you kidding me? What wife? Don't tell me what I saw out there is real. Are you being serious right now? I brought in my wife to the house and you're asking if it was you. No, Joseph. Tell me you were joking. I want to hear you say it was all a joke. See me see Kisu. So you want me to lie? Why would you do this to me, Joseph? What does she have that I don't have? I don't want to break your heart by mentioning things she has that you don't have. Stop this, please. We are legally married, remember? So what about her? Am I not legally married to her? I know you're joking. You don't mean what you just said. Monica, if you are going to doubt my words, then you better leave. Why are you doing this? Don't you love me anymore? What has love got to do with me looking for a way to have a child? So you married another woman just because you want a child? Yes, Monica. I want a woman that is not self-centered like you. A woman whose interest is not only to go for shopping. I need a real woman who is ready to start a family and maintain one. You don't see all these qualities in me? Not even one of them. The only good quality you have is your beauty. You can't even maintain a house, talk more of a home. Stop it, Joseph. You are hurting me. You think tears will soften my heart. Then you have to try harder. I don't deserve this. We love each other. Why are you trying to scatter our home? Which home? A home that consists of just you and I? <laughs> you know how much I love and cherish you. Don't do this to me, please. You should be grateful. I've given you that privilege of sharing the same room with me. Baby, reconsider this, please. There's nothing to reconsider. This is even the time for you to continue your shopping. Just forget about giving birth. I don't need a child with you anymore. Mm -hmm.